We made a pit stop on the way to the beach. We're at Ningang Cave and it's really beautiful. This place has cascading <laughs> farms. It's really amazing. I took the drone in and just like flew right over them. It looks so beautiful. Uh, there's also these two little canyon walls and the one crazy thing is there's a bunch of swallows that are very territorial and they were swooping in packs of like 10 just all around me. It was nuts. I think I heard like a warning sign on your drone. Yeah, it's my battery. Oh, okay. Battery getting low. Um, but also another cool thing is there's a cave right at the bottom. Not I'm, my head, the cave. Yeah, this is all empty here. <laughs> there's a cave actually right down here where there's a really big entrance. Yeah, it was a really beautiful little stop. Yeah. And I think we might get some coffee before we head to the beach. bumpy up several hills turns it was awesome now we're heading to the gondola it's something that we both really want to do it's gonna be scary you'll see it in just a second but this gondola ride is from the mainland to an island that fishermen lobstermen in the past used to use only the bravest would enter the waters but the waves are really really high underneath this gondola it is it's pretty scary looking, but we definitely want to experience this. they needed extra people to pull me up it was like there was like three guys tugging on the line hilarious that was awesome it's really windy up here I'm not sure how clear the audio is the waves out here are just huge and amazing the water is a beautiful beautiful light blue almost an aqua and look at these waves look at the surf Violent, violent water. You definitely don't want to fall in the water here. Terrifying. 
terrifies people about going across on the gondola is its rope. It's not cable cord or anything like that. It's literally like nylon looking rope that they hand reel you in. So it can be sketchy, especially if there's a big wave right when you're coming over, you're gonna get soaked. secret pathway to go down near the water. So we're gonna do that before we head back across by gondola. section we're getting huge waves come ripping through the side of this. Here comes another one. You do not want to jump in this water. It is not for swimming. two options for this tour. You can take the gondola or for about half the price you can actually take the bridge. It's got little steps in it along the way and it's kind of barricaded by some nylon rope. It looks fairly scary. I think it's probably scarier than the gondola but I was wanting to put the drone up. I've seen a few drone shots of this place and it looked amazing. This is the only time so far that I have had to not put my drone up due to wind. This place right now is super windy. I mean, look at the flag, it is just whipping. But yeah, really disappointed. I did get a couple drone shots today though, so I think that is just going to have to do. But now, we are about to go back across. but it turns out we have one more stop. We're at Pinas Pengar, and we're here because there's an amazing viewpoint with a hand, so you wanna go and take some really cool pictures there. This lookout point has tons of these wooden sculptures and we just found out that they're actually made by students at an art university. Well, that are from an art university. They come out here obviously to make them, but it's just really cool. I mean, the detail and like, look at this. It's just all braided and wrapped around this tree. It's really cool. So there are several different pine forests in and around. Chuck Jakarta. Uh, this one's really cool though. The wind is picked up and the treetops 
are just all moving and hitting together. It's making this cool like crackle sound of the limbs breaking up top. It's just really awesome. It's just, it's just really cool. There cannot be a better way to end this day than with this amazing view behind us. We decided to work with Java Heritage Tours and they did not disappoint. They set up a customized package based on our preferences of some of the things we wanted to see around Joke Jakarta. And not only that, like our driver speaks fluent English. He speaks several other languages as well. And he is so friendly. It's just like a friend's driving us around. It's we really had, nice. We had a really great time. We had a lot of laughs. We were in the car together all day long. And just joking, talking about politics, talking about all sorts of stuff. We're sad to see this day is over, but we are in the monsoon season and it's probably gonna rain soon. That's gonna do it for us, guys. See you around the world. Bye. Bye. Bye.